The Johannine Kama. The Trinity, or the Christian Godhead, is a central doctrine in most sects of Christianity today, which states God is one, but also three distinct beings at the same time. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, or Holy Ghost. The concept is so commonplace in the religion now, that some believers never learn that there was once in fact much heated, and even violent, and even deadly debate between Christians that believed in the Trinity and those that did not. If one reads carefully, the doctrine is never explicitly stated in the New Testament, and was thus not solidified in the canon, nor believed by all Christians for centuries. One of the few verses in the New Testament that outright state the doctrine of the Trinity appears in chapter 5, verse 7 and 8 of the first epistle of John, reading in the King James Bible as, There are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. That particular statement, for there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one, has come under question by modern biblical scholars. It does not appear in any of our oldest manuscripts of this text. All of these instead read like this, for there are three that testify, the spirit, and the water, and the blood, and the three are in agreement. Or, there are three witness bearers, the spirit, and the water, and the blood. Even early Christians that believed in the Trinity, such as Clement of Alexandria, when quoting this particular verse, did not include the extra words, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. The extra words have been given the name the Johannine Kama by modern scholars, and is overwhelmingly understood to be an addition to the original version of 1 John, first appearing in the Latin Vulgate after the 9th century, and in Greek manuscripts in the 15th century. In all older manuscripts, the comma is completely absent. The comma seems to have originated as a marginal note in some Latin manuscripts during the Middle Ages. However, over time the marginal note was either accidentally or intentionally incorporated into the actual text of the Vulgate. These altered texts of the Vulgate were then translated back into Greek, which then served as the basis for the English King James versions. It is now widely recognized that the Johannine Kama, one of the only examples where the Trinity is explicitly stated in the Bible, was not a part of the original text of 1 John. The Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Brother Swagat also quotes ad verbatim from the first episode of John, chapter 5, verse 7, where it says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. I said, look, but it's not in my Bible. Is this not the Word of God? In my Bible, it's not there. Why is it not there? Because your scholars... 32 scholars of the highest eminence, Bible scholars, backed by 50 cooperating denominations, they say this is a, another fabrication, another interpolation. So they also threw it out. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But there are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues, your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagga says in his book. Person, person, person. But not three person, but one person. I am asking what language are you speaking? I'm asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish, it's not English. You see, you say person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I said, Brother Swagat, you and your two other brothers, let's say you are three identical triplets, and we can't make the difference out between the three of you. They're all identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? You say no. I'm asking why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I said, right. What makes him different? His personality. So the father, 
you know, imagination, the human mind, you can't help. When you use words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the Father, you have a certain mental picture of that old Father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving Father in heaven. When you say God the Son, you see, so you're thinking of somebody like an Englishman or a Nordic or a German type with a straight nose, the Son. And the Holy Ghost, something that came like a dove when Jesus was baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist or something that came in flames of fire at Pentecost. I said, the picture is not very vivid, but the picture is there. You have three distinct mental pictures. And however hard you try, you can never superimpose those three pictures and create one. There will ever be three in your mind. But when I ask you how many pictures you see, you say one, you are lying to me. Brothers and sisters, you are lying to me.